we will be going to learn about autodoc and how to use autodoc first open chrome then on opening chrome load mg tools and search for it on mg tools you will get first option click on it then you will see downloads in downloads we can find various like for linux Mac and Windows. Click on the Windows, it will be downloaded in your next in the new tab. Click on Autodoc download. If you click on Autodoc, we know also will be getting Autodoc here. But on clicking Autodoc download, we will get specified Autodoc 4. This has to be downloaded here. Also, we can find the file for Linux. Mac and Windows. Click on the Windows to download for Windows. It will be downloaded. After downloading, install these two apps in your computer. Then next, open this PC, Windows C. Creating a new folder. You have to create a new folder in this Windows C. In this new folder, rename it as Docking. This is the directory where we are going to dock the molecules and save all the docking files. For in starting, please empty the file, the new folder, then go to this PC, same C drive. You will find programming file 680x. Uh, there we can find the MGL 1.57. Click on MGL 1.57 option. Then go to library. Then you will find site packages. Open site packages. Then you will find auto dock tools in second option. Click on that. Then you will find these two files. Copy the two files. Paste it to the new folder which have been created. Then again go to C drive. Go to the programming files 86. Again, you will find uh, the scripts research institute. Click open it. You will find Autodoc and Vina. Click on Autodoc 4.26 and copy these two files. Move to same new folder. These are the necessary files for docking. Please keep these files in this new folder. Then we have to download the molecules the ligand and the protein molecule for docking in the new uh, click on pdb database we will get or use rcsb pdb you will get this next click on uh, any protein sequence or protein molecule you can find i here used coronavirus Viral protein it will be opening. Click this and open this coronavirus viral protein. There are lot of here. Here, there is the first one. There is on opening this, you will get uh, this protein in 3D structure. Then open PDB format and download it. It will be downloaded in your download folder. Then in a new folder again, new tab again download PubChem database. After loading it, it will be going to PubChem where you can download various ligands. I am using aspirin as ligand. On searching aspirin, I will get aspirin. Click aspirin to open. Then you can find the 2D structure, 3D structure, and the description about the pumpkin in websites and the aspirin molecules. Download 3D structure STF file. We have to download only STF file because in STF file only we can get the charges. You can find them both in your download. Copy that both. Oh, sorry. Just copy the both and uh, save to your new folder so that it will be easy for you to docking. So 
so you copy and paste it to your to your docking folder so this will be easy for you to access the main point is save all your docking files in one folder and uh, make it as directory so that only you could get uh, best results or that only will allow you to run this docking auto dock this is the one of the most important step this will this is to be followed otherwise you may not get uh, good results then rename the files as ligand and protein or receptor i am renaming and this protein i am renaming it as protein or receptor then you have to convert the ligand or prepare the ligand so i am using open babel to convert the ligand to pdb format in open label click open label then you can find in input there are various formats which can be converted we are using sdf format um then uh, add your sdf ligand format here in docking we can find ligand okay open this will add your ligand to this input format then we have to then select this to where we can have to save this output file here type it as ligand dot pdb and give save always specify the extensions whenever you save then in output format also we can get various format we are looking for pdb so i am clicking pdb format then just click convert it will be converted and this converted file will be saved in your location where you have mentioned here as we can see this have been added to ligand pdb format have been added to our new folder so we have created converted the ligand from sd f format to pdb format then click open auto dock it will be loading after auto dock is loaded it will be the interface looking like this close all unnecessary tabs so that your auto dock don't get delayed or any you no know, trouble have been happened maximize this you have to go to file preference set startup directory this is the one of the major thing how to be do so that all your working will be in this directory only click here you will get the direction or path copy that path paste it in startup directory then give set and make as default you have to do do this every time when you do docking create a new folder and make it as startup directory then give read molecule you will see receptor click open that in your auto dock we have opened the ligand uh, sorry, sorry in receptor in this auto dock now we have to prepare this receptor for docking you can see the red dots are water molecules there is only one chain if there is two chain or three chain we have to remove the two and three chains here we can see the list of amino acids here so we are going to delete the water molecules will delete water molecules from edit the water molecules have been deleted then we will add charges hydrogen bond first we will add hydrogen bond click hydrogen bond polar only give okay the polar hydrogen bonds have been added then move to charges we will add coleman charges this coleman charges makes this protein and uh, net zero protein no charge protein so that minus 1.95 charges added to make this protein as zero charge then go to atoms assign ad4 type which has to be main step 
So properly complete these two three steps so that you will prepare this receptor. Then go to save. Save it as PDB Qt format. We have to select all this by giving control and selecting all. You have to select this. Then then add. Then give OK. This receptor will be saved in your new folder in PDB Qt format. First we have inserted it as PDB format. Now we have saved it as PDB Qt format. This PDB Qt format is the format for using it in, in Autodoc. Then for ligand input open. We cannot find ligand. So you have to change it to PDB format files. Then we will find the ligand. Then open the ligand. You just click OK. We can find the ligand has been placed here. Added it. So we have to prepare this ligand also for Autodoc, similar to the protein. Click on ligand, toss entry, choose root, then again ligand, toss entry, detect root, then again there is no changes. In output, click save PDBQT, then save this ligand as in PDBQT format. Our ligand and the receptor both have been saved in PDBQT format. Next, the grid formation section is the next important step. Click on grid, macromolecules, open or choose, choose receptor as macromolecule, select molecule, see no charges, again select receptor, save, plus yes, replace it. This makes it, the prepared is has saved as PDBQD format, let's set map types, choose ligand, select the ligand. Select the ligand. Ligand is also have been selected. Next, grid box. Grid box, you have to, we can maximize or minimize this grid box. This grid box is the place or the space where you docking has have been or will be making uh, taken place. So, for blind docking, we don't have specific site or we don't have specific sites. So, we are doing blind docking. So, maximize the uh, this grid so that all the area of this protein or the receptor is covered. Make it as max, make this options or move this options to make it cover the, all the part of the recept, uh, receptor molecule covered inside or uh, been put inside this grid box. Just adjust it, this values so that maximum space of the ligand is inside the box grid box then click uh, file close saving current then click grid output save gpf here just save it as what you want but with the extension as gpf i am saving it as 1.gpf this is the grid parameter file this is important for this running uh, autodoc grid. Then we are going to docking section. Another important point: macromolecules, rigid white file frame. Then select receptors, open. Then again ligand, choose ligand, uh, selecting ligand, select ligand, uh, accept. Then again. Search parameters genetic algorithm which follows Darwin principle. Also accept it. Then logging parameters we have to no change. Other options no change. Output file. Lamarckian we have to select it for. Okay, select it. And again we have to save this docking parameter file. 2.dpf have been saved in. This all saving will be happening in uh, in the new folder which have been created. Now run auto grid. The program pathway name you have to select and browse and click auto grid 4. Open it. Then one GPF select the GPF file. Then no changes there. Click launch. 
this will be running after this uh, stops running we can find the necessary files which are needed for uh, docking auto docking uh, have been created here one.glg you can find it this is the important file for uh, auto dock click this open then give similarly uh, browse select all this auto dock for browse and select uh, auto dock folder which is saved in your folder open it then again go and browse to dpf file open it then give launch this will be running and giving you the final docking results this may be taking uh, time based on the molecule which have you are taking and the ligand which you are taking here we can find the various and dlg is the final file just open it in your notepad here you can find the all the results and the values of final dogging here in this mm. okay there is R, uh, you can find this rmst table control f and give rmst will find this table this is the table and the binding energy the ragging is done for uh and then results came from autodoc and by seeing under successful completion so that our auto docs have been completed we can find the each runs value energy size location all this in this dlg file we'll be posting another video for analysis of